Hey guys, we are looking at a couple laptops right now that I would recommend if you are on the road a lot and you need something light, something to throw in your backpack, hold under your arm and walk around, travel with. The Yoga by Lenovo, the 7i is the current one. This is my, this is what I've used uh, for quite a few years now, the, the Yoga series. Uh, I love them. They're great. They have everything really you need. You don't get a lot of customizable options here, um, but the processor's good. The U processor has a better battery performance, so your battery's going to last longer. Uh, the XPS 15 from Dell has an inch larger screen, but um, between the 14 and the 15, I don't like the 13s. They're just a little small. The 15s, perfect. Don't go above that. But again, a lot of people like the 15s. Uh, and uh, the only thing I would make sure you do when you, if you spec out a 15 is go with Windows 11 Pro instead of Home. Pick the base graphics unless you're doing some fancy applications. 16 gigs of RAM is good. Hard drive, I, I always like one terabyte drives. The Yoga has that built in, but you can upgrade that. But honestly, if you're just doing Office files, don't you don't need it. And then your screen on the Dell, you have some options. These are really bright screens, 500 nits and 400 nits. The Yoga has 300. Uh, all three of those are you know, anything over 300 is uh, good, but you are going to get b better visibility in daylight uh, with the with the Dell. Non-touch versus touch. I don't like the high resolution. I'm old uh, unless I'm on a big screen. So I think this is a great size. Uh, the, the Yoga has a slightly higher resolution. Um, and it's touch and it's clamshell so you can use it as a tablet it comes with a pin although not a lot I, I don't use my pin a lot so I, I wouldn't miss it if I didn't have it both of these are Intel Evo certified so Intel saying that all the hardware on this is good the Dell's don't have as good of uh, connectivity I think all they have are USB C's Thunderbolt 4, USB-C's. The Yoga has um, great offerings, which is really what I like. It's got HDMI to uh, Thunderbolt 4's on one side, headphone jack with a mic combo, and then uh, micro SD, which I use a drone a lot, so I can just pop my drone card in and get get everything I need off of it. And then it's got the old fashioned USB 3.2, uh, USB A. So you don't need a dongle to carry around with you. Uh, I have one obviously for ethernet, but on the Dell, make sure you get a dongle that does ethernet, HDMI, all that good stuff. Uh, USB A's cause you will, you will kill yourself if you don't have that. So again, it's up to you, but my my choice, man, I, I don't know. I, I like the Yoga. Can't go wrong with the Dell. Uh, good name. Probably a little bit stronger overall. It, um, but if you start plugging a lot of stuff in and you want to go to somebody's office and plug into HDMI, just make sure you have that, that dongle with you. Whereas with the Yoga, you know, it's kind of all there and you don't have to mess with it. So those are my two choices. Uh, have fun.